Hello, and welcome back to the Bankers Masterclass series on leveraging the hybrid cloud in association with Red Hat and Tata Consultancy Services. I'm Joy McKnight, Managing Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Red Hat's Ramon Villarreal and Kishore Banavar from TCS. In the third chapter of this Masterclass series, we'll be taking a deeper dive into specific use cases around enhancing payments. Ramon, how can hybrid cloud really enhance and extend payments across industries? The payments market is actually evolving really deeply at the moment. And it's actually one of the areas within the finance, with the, within the financial services industry that is getting more disruption, especially because a lot of the new entrants, the way that, to, that they are coming to the market is by enabling new, new abilities of pay, new ways of interacting with the customer. At the same time, the customer is asking for these new capabilities a new a more a higher flexibility in the way that they inter, they, they get services a new type of services that maximize the value and simplify the way that they transact we are moving into a world of the cashless economy and and the ability to actually deliver that type of services is becoming a bigger priority so for financial services institutions that are looking to actually deliver that value to the customer whilst maintaining the level of resilience and scalability that is needed uh, for, for transactional processes such as payments, and you know nobody wants to lose those, um, hybrid cloud provides the, the na native solution to start building those capabilities. It actually en enables the, the, the innovation that is needed to actually cater for those client needs but it also brings you the, 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 the connecting point on resilience and scalability and automation and it brings new paradigms of maintaining that, that scale that is needed to participate in the market. So it, it's actually something that is natural and most of the financial institutions globally are looking to leverage. The payment or any kind of money movement uh, within an industry or across industries has been going through unprecedented transformation. In fact, payment is the only main glue that connects industries uh, such as banking, retail, insurance and so on. So be it the explosion of digital and real-time payments or even shortening of cycles of uh, cross-border payments or settlements, all the major countries are looking at modernizing and uh, readying their platforms for the future of uh, payment industry. So due to the distributed nature of payment value chain or very high scalability needs or uh, sometimes even seasonal peaks or intolerance to any kind of failures or outages or a need to integrate with uh, various industry and cross industry players and also some new opportunities uh, to establish and uh, leverage payment analytics and so on. Uh, all the factors are driving a need for a very robust uh, kind of a cross industry platform and hybrid cloud models are expected to address that. How does a more flexible infrastructure help banks adapt to the changing expectations of customers? The payment market and those expectations of the current customers are, are becoming global. And, and the scale and the demand of new capabilities is actually putting pressure in the systems at the moment. They have like flexibility and the ability to migrate, but also to scale up and down that infrastructure gives the banks the ability to, to actually build, uh, build the systems that are reliable and those, uh, to deliver the value that the customer needs. At the same time, those infrastructures uh, are, are designed in, in natively for automation. Therefore, they enable the ability of releasing capabilities faster into the market, which is exactly what the customer is asking. Um, so, for example, we are working with some financial institutions at the moment that they are basically building new capabilities in terms of, of paying or interacting with, uh, with customer, QR code payment, payment through identification, et cetera, et cetera. And those capabilities are basically native and intrinsically generated with a hybrid infrastructure and flexible infrastructure. And how is hybrid cloud enabling this modernization drive? Each of the elements of the payment value chain, starting from initiation all the way up to the final settlement is as it is quite complex. 
in the future it is going to be further more complex in terms of the processing it is expected to be more distributed with many more players and capture points coming in maybe for loyalty or marketplaces or offer ecosystems connected payments payments initiated by iot devices wallets and so on so both the major processors as well as the niche players here they need to adopt some combination of hybrid cloud for meeting business obligations with the required quality of service uh, and economic viability of course based on our current conversations with various players major banks central payment infrastructures uh, you know including network processors are taking a very cautious and measured approach towards cloud adoption of course they are making incremental steps um, however many payment processor packages are being made available in a saas model so which can be directly consumed so in many ways uh, for various players the hybrid cloud definitely caters to this uh, modernization drive many thanks for your insights ramon and kishore in the final chapter of this masterclass series we'll be looking at open banking and the ecosystem approach